Hi, welcome to Code with Chris, and this series is about learning Objective-C. Now, this is a great place to start if you've already got a programming background and you just want to learn Objective-C syntax and structure and so on and so forth. If you have no programming experience at all, this is still a great place to start, but you might want to check out the post in the description below. That post, I introduce people who are non-programmers to Objective-C. So read that first and then watch this video if you've got no programming experience. In this video, we're going to be talking about some common Objective-C data types and showing you some examples. Here are some of the common data types that you'll be using. Short and int are to store integers, depends what size you need. Chars store a single character. And for strings, we have a class called NSString, uh, which we'll introduce in a later episode. Float and double are for your floating point decimal numbers. Again, depends on what size you need. Bool is to store your Boolean type variables. So you can assign it no or yes or zero and one accordingly. And ID is to store object and class references. Now, it's not strongly typed, so you can assign any object to a variable of this type. Now let's see some of these in action. I've whipped up a quick project here to show you guys the variable declaration statements. Please ignore the warnings on the left hand side here. It's Xcode's just telling me that I'm declaring these variables but I'm not actually using them anywhere. So it's telling me that I should delete them. Uh, but anyways, I've declared here basically the, the data types that we talked about in the chart before. You might notice that in this short variable I've assigned 60,000 to it but in the chart prior I said that the range of values is from negative 32,000 and something to positive 32,000. Well that really depends on the size that your computer uses. So if you're running a 64-bit machine then obviously the sizes are going to be uh, increased. Some things I want to bring up are you can add unsigned to your variable and what this does is it drops the whole negative range and it doubles the positive range. Another thing I want to show you guys is the static keyword. So if I add static in front of the variable declaration, it's effectively going to turn that into a static variable, meaning that the first time this method gets called, this variable gets created, uh, but subsequent times it will not create that variable again and it will uh, retain its value that you've set. And then there's the constant keyword. So if I wanted to declare a variable that I would assign a value and it would never change, I could use the const keyword in front of my variable declaration and that would turn that into a constant. Notice down here with the id variable declaration, I'm assigning it a value of self and self is a keyword to indicate that particular instance. So in this case, self refers to this instance of the view controller. Hey guys, so that was the first episode of the Learn Objective-C tutorial series. And now for your fun fact. Did you know that over 10% of iPhones in the world are jailbroken? So my question to you is, do you own one, an iPhone or an iPad, and did you jailbreak it? Let me know in the comment section below, and I'll post the results in a future video. Alright, see you guys later.